Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different and show you guys a one eyeshadow smoky eye tutorial. I feel like when I was new to makeup and I would look up how to do a smoky eye or smoky eye tutorial, there would be like three transition colors from three different eyeshadow palettes. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go buy like a hundred dollars worth of stuff to do a simple smoky eye. But once I learned more and got more into makeup, I realized that you can do a smoky eye with just one eyeshadow and it does not have to be complicated. So this is kind of a grungy, lived-in smoky eye, the look that I'm wearing right now, which are my favorite. I don't like the super precise smoky eyes as much as I like the kind of looks like you woke up with your old eyeliner on type smoky eyes. It's so, so simple. So for those of you that are a little intimidated by a smoky eye or feel like that's not something you can do on your own, I really hope this tutorial shows you that it's definitely doable and you don't need five different eyeshadow palettes to achieve it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take a black eyeliner. I prefer a black pencil. I just find that they're easier to smudge out and work with. I'm going to use this one by Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Liner. I love this pencil liner. I find that it stays on all day long or all night long. It's just one of the best in my opinion. So I like to start from the outer corner and bring it in. And you really don't need to be precise about this. All we're trying to do right now is build depth at the lash line. We're going to smudge all this out later. So as long as you're getting right into the roots of your lashes, that's all you have to worry about. This does not need to be a perfect line by any means. You see how that just gave us immediate depth in this eye versus this eye? This lash line looks so much more defined than this one. And I find the smaller the stroke, the easier it is. So just go slowly and really work it into your lash line. Again, we're just creating that depth. You want the darkest part of this kind of smudgy eyeshadow look to be at the lash line and then kind of diffuse outward. But I love doing this look when I'm feeling lazy because you don't have to be super precise. You just kind of get it in the general vicinity of your lash line, really work it into the roots of your lashes, but the line doesn't have to be remotely straight. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take this through the waterline as well, and that'll build the intensity on the lower lash line. And I also like to take it kind of on the upper waterline as well, just to make sure that lash line is super, super black. Okay, so now that we've built the intensity where we want it, which is around the lash line, we can start kind of diffusing it and making it look a little bit more grungy and messy to get that lived in smoky eye effect. And most people, when they think smoky eye, they think black eyeshadow. And black eyeshadow can be really tricky to work with if you're new to smoky eyes or if you're kind of in a rush and don't have time to blend everything perfectly. So I recommend going with something that's deep enough to give you the smoky effect, but not an actual black eyeshadow because like I said those are hard to work with. My favorite one and I mentioned this eyeshadow in my 2016 favorites is this mono Maybelline eyeshadow in the shade khaki camo. It's like a deep olive gorgeous color that I'm obsessed with and I just find that it gives that nice smoky effect but it's really easy to blend out and it's not as harsh as a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to take my Eco Tools dual sided brush and I'm going to take the kind of smudge brush side of it and go ahead and dip it into the eyeshadow and then I'm going to trace over and kind of smudge out the eyeliner we put on the upper lash line. So we're just kind of diffusing that line and blending it out, but still we have that intensity on the lash line. And you can see this shade is deep enough to make it look really smoky and work well with the black liner, but it's not too deep to where we can't bring it up to the crease, which is what we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna take the other side of this Eco Tools brush, the fluffier side, and dip that into the same eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take this along the rest of my lid and up through my crease. Anytime you dip your brush into this eyeshadow, you want the brush to immediately go onto your eyelid and then blend up to the crease. You never wanna be depositing product right onto the crease because we want the least amount of intensity there and most of the intensity on the lash line. Okay, and now going back to that smaller side of the brush again, I'm gonna smudge out my lower lash line as well. And I stop kind of three quarters of the way in on my lower lash line, just because you want to keep your inner corners a little bit less smoky so it doesn't start to take on kind of a black eye effect. And it looks just looks smoldery and smoky, but not like you just got punched in the face. <laughs> and then the last thing I like to do is just take a clean blending brush. This is the Wet n Wild Crease Brush and just kind of diffuse the edges. Make sure there's no harsh lines. And now just pop on some mascara. I'm using the Colossal Spider Effect Volume Express Mascara. 
and you can leave it just like that or you can pop on some lashes. And I went ahead and added my, of course, Ardell Demi Wispies and I just love the way lashes look. I think they just amp everything up 10 times more, especially if you have super straight lashes like me. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys found this helpful and give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other types of tutorials that you guys are wanting to see. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.